from Stranger. Hey, well, if they can hug him, they can kiss him all they like. I don't like the guy. Everybody knows that. Well, let's face it. I embarrassed him, I humiliate him, and then I cost him the television title. He would right now be the television champion. If it wasn't for Scott Anthony, the Palm Beach heartthrob. So there. Let's see what he says about that. Nothing. So you're proud of having outside interference to help Eddie Gilbert? Hey, Eddie could have beat him himself if he wanted to. I just wanted to add insult to injury, that's all. Look at him. Shaking hands, kissing babies, giving roses to fat women. What a fool. Well, the women indeed women. love him. Like I said, me and him go back a long time. And I've always known him. He's always gotten ugly women. Well, he apparently got one away from you. He did not steal her from me. I broke up with her, and that was it. And I don't want to hear another word about it on this segment. Yeah. Yeah. He's got his hands full here with the stretcher, Barry Horowitz. Although Ron Ames, the ridiculous ring announcer, insists on calling him the bad boy when everybody knows he's the stretcher. Well, Barry Horowitz with quite a resume, including holding at one time the Florida Heavyweight Championship. Exactly under an assumed name of Jack Hart, an alias. He was even managed at You know what, time. listen, maybe if, we, if it was cool, we could get my good, close, personal friend, Hot Stuff, Mr. Stuff, as I like to call him, Eddie Gilbert out here, and he could join us here in the commentator's booth. Well, what a surprise. <laughs> Look who's here. This Mr. Wasn't Stuff. A this wasn't a setup or anything. I didn't know I was coming out here. Mr. Stuff, good to see you. Good to see you, Mr. Throb. It's Thank a pleasure, you. as always. Look, it's the stretcher, Barry Horwich, against that buffoon, the stranger, the guy you beat for the TV title. I predict victory this week for Barry Horowitz. Drop down. Drop down. Drop down. Is, is your record Leap stuck? Frog. Bad leapfrog. Frog. And the hip toss by the handsome stranger. Wasn't very graceful, was it? Drop kick sends the bad boy down. Arm drag. That's a and wing over takedown this. and a handful of hair. Learn your terminology, homeboy. Hey, hey, hey. I've already spotted something here. You know, every match a stranger has, he seems to be working on the left arm. He's always doing arm drags. He's always pulling hair. He's always working on the left arm. Mm, not a very sound philosophy, because Barry Horwich is known to have a pretty mean right hand. He should work on the right arm. Exactly. I don't know what is his padding hand that he pats himself on the back The right arm. The right arm is the padding arm. That's the arm he should work on. Boy, if I could do that, I would a lot. I'm not that limber myself. Me either. Arm bar here, trying to work the elbow, bending it back against the green. I, every now and then, I just feel like getting up and going and letting you two do the commentary. Goodbye. That wouldn't be a bad idea sometimes. Hey, the ratings would go sky high. Give the people a break. All those pretty girls out there love it, too. Wait a minute. Look at this. They got that idiot James Beard in there again. He is in cahoots with every good guy. They pay him money, and he takes it. I always know as he referees Shut every up. one of my matches. James Beard is a crook, a known crook. Horowitz with the Irish whip, whip leap frog, and Horowitz may have injured the knee. Uh-oh. If the stranger were truly a gentleman, he would forfeit the match right now because Horowitz obviously is in too much pain to continue. That's that bad right knee of his, you know? Yeah, he's been, he's, he's, he's had a bad right knee for, for years. Long time. Oh, way back. Okay. Back since the old days. I don't seem to remember any such injury. And all oh, right delivered. He was playing possum, Daddy-O. He was playing possum. Barry to stretch your heart with, he didn't hurt his knee. He was playing possum. And an elbow flying off the rope, getting momentum. The bad boy from Tampa, Florida. And that just shows how stupid the stranger really is because he fell for it. Horowitz played possum and suckered old Mr. Stranger in. It's kind of like Barry Horowitz is a Washington Redskins and old strangers the Chicago Bears are in it. You betcha. <laughs> Side suplex. And the bad boy with the advantage here. Knee to the, to the upper middle small of the back. I didn't realize we were in stereo this way. Oh, we are in stereo. But here's a stereo break coming up when we return after these messages. Wait. Watch out! 
Welcome back to the action here in the GWF as a backslide attempted by Barry Horowitz. What you didn't see during the commercials was Barry Horowitz pinned the stranger for a seven count, but James oh, Beard, please. but James Beard was paid off and he refused to count past two and just stood there looking stupid. As a matter of fact, I tell the people exactly what happened. James Beard got outside the ring and drank some Excuse water. He drank. No, I think it was a soda pop actually. Yeah. Okay, okay. A soda pop. Could have been a water. You think it was diet. Well, James Beard should go on a diet. And you didn't miss any of the action. You notice that little gut forming on James Beard. Working on the lower spine region of the handsome stranger is Barry Horowitz. The eighth and ninth lumbar brachialises. What? Indeed. Uh-uh. You have to know, so you gotta know your body parts, what you're working on here. That's why I am the constant wrestler. That's why I do the action, and you just report it, homeboy. Shot to the midsection two times. Not having much effect, though. And watch out, Russian leg sweep. The stranger goes down as Horowitz maintains the advantage. Uh-oh, a three-quarter Nelson hooks him. Two. One, two, almost a count of three. Hey, you don't see them kind of sporty amateur moves like that too often. That was one of those stretcher moves. That's why he's known as the, the stretcher. stretcher. That was in Stereophonic Symphony. Me and you should cut an album together, Eddie. I love to. You could be on my next rap album. Thank you. Not a problem. Forearm delivered to the back of the handsome stranger by Barry Horowitz. Horowitz is an outstanding competitor. Small package roll up. Count and a pair of one. tights. And a pair of tights. You saw that. He's very happy to be sitting here next to the Craig Meister. To who? The Craig Meister. The, the Craig Meister? Let's not even give him that much credit. He's not even a Craig Meister. Ugh, ugh, go back to the action. That was a hideous picture of two hideously ugly women, probably stranger fans. Going Stop. for the gut wrench side suplex. No, that's a side salto suplex. It's not a gut wrench suplex. Eddie, what is it? What is it? Exactly. Back to live action. I've been trying to get back to live action for quite a while. I heard you haven't had much live action lately. Or ever. And now, going for an Indian death lock, possibly? No. As you know, the Hansel Stranger is all about that, having Tonto with him. And grabbing a hold of the top rope, getting a little bit of extra leverage. No, he's using it for balance. It's not a leverage thing, it's a balance thing. It's still an illegal thing. Oh, stop your wailing. You cry about every little thing, every little infraction. You're always there. Look at this, look at that. Is it an illegal move, illegal hold? Which is it? Or is it a thing? An illegal what? Come on, Mr. Smarty Pants, Mr. Dictionary Head. Well, catching the illegal move was James Beard. I don't think it was a move. One question for you, Craig. Who buys your ties? And whoever it is, please make them stop. Ooh. You all are worried about fashion while, meanwhile, Let's see in the, the ring, oh my! The bow and arrow into a pinning combination. <laughs> Got That's called a bow. Too. That's called a bow and arrow. Write that down, Johnson. Someone Not may cool. use it later on in the show, and you'll need to know about it. Have Barry Horowitz staying with the Indian theme tonight. The Indian Deathlock, the bow and arrow. Working that Indian thing type, Indian lower back type thing tonight. No tomahawk chops anywhere near here, however. Possibly another Russian leg sweep. No, abdominal stretch. Can't get him to get it hooked, though. Stranger's fighting him. I think, him stranger, I think a stranger will give up here. I don't think so. What, are you kidding me? Stranger, he's got no, he's got no endurance. He's got no intestinal fortitude. He's got no brains. Eddie Gilbert proved that when he won the TV title for him. Well, Barry Horowitz has had the advantage throughout most of this match. And both men go for a drop kick. Both men go down. Oh, Horowitz really landed hard on the back of his head. Right on his noggin. Stranger's already weakened anyway from getting beat on so darn long. But man, Horowitz landed hard on the back of his head. Horowitz gets the possible advantage by being the first man to his feet. But the Stranger beats him to the punch. To the forehead. Come on, say it. Another right delivered. And look who's tied up in the ropes. If James Beard was any kind of fair official, he'd stop this. Look at his onslaught. He's punching him. Disqualification. Let's ring the bell right now. 
the bell out of the reach of Hot Stuff Eddie Gilbert. Oh! Trying to go for the side suplex instead. Gets the back slide. Count of one. That's two. Three! He kicked out at two and a half. Ladies and gentlemen, he the winner out. Match, the handsome stranger. What a pretty move by the handsome stranger. It looked like it was going to be a side suplex. Instead, it turns into the black back slide and the win. He oh, kicked out on two and a half. When we return, a talk with a one-man gang. Plus, Black Barnegan, Butch Blackheart.